What I want to do is I want to be strong with you like a personal trainer, like a coach, to tell you, Mace. you can do Mace. better. Mace. You can build this bigger. You can grow your business faster. You can recruit way more people than you've been recruiting and you know. You can go out there and produce an incredible amount more sales than you've been producing if you just decide to stop being lazy in your business. You can do things that are completely unimaginable to you, and I promise to you that even your wildest dreams can be exceeded by what you can do if you'll only make a decision that from this moment on, you treat this as seriously as you treat your life if it's in danger. Guys, I pro one time I heard a, a network marketing trainer say something, and I'll just never forget it. I was struggling to recruit, okay? And I called this person and you know, paid for coaching for, for you know, how to recruit more people. And uh, I, I said, I'm just struggling. I can't come up with prospects. I, you know, I can't, uh, I, can't, I can't sell this and people aren't buying and stuff like that. And this is what happened. The person said, David, let me ask you a question. I said, okay, go ahead and ask. They said, you got a family? I said, yeah, I'm married. And uh, they said, okay, you're married. And I said, yeah. He said, okay, David, what if, what if somebody had a gun to your, your wife's head? And they said, if you don't recruit somebody in the next three hours, I'm pulling the trigger. And I'll never forget that. Because what I knew when he said that was that, that, I, that I have the ability to produce any amount of sales. What I knew when he said that is I have the ability to recruit whenever I want. What I knew when he said that was that I have the ability to do anything. Was that I have the ability to do anything. It just depends what's on the line. So my question for you is, have you put your heart in your business? Have you put your heart on the line? Because I have. I've put my heart and soul on the line. And I would spend every last dollar that I have, which now is a lot, if it meant that that was, that was what it would take to bring the vision to a new level. And my question is, what are you really willing to do that's honest and legal to get to where you want to go in your business and your life? What are you really willing to do? Because I promise you, when the stakes are high enough, when you're playing with your heart, that what you can do will surprise your wildest dreams. I had a goal when I got online of recruiting two people a day within 90 days. I had a goal. I wanted to recruit two affiliates a day within 90 days of starting my business. That's what I wanted to do because I knew that if I could sponsor two people a day, that I could build any income that I wanted. I could duplicate it as big as I wanted because I'd have enough people fast enough to where the, the numbers would play out in my favor. I knew that if I could do that, I could do things in a different way to a new level. And I put all my heart and all my soul and all my energy and all my attention in one direction, focused on one thing with one aim and one result in mind. 45 days later, I recruited my first day where I recruited two people in a day. Then it was one person in a day. Then it was three people in a day. Then it was two people in a day. And I was averaging two people a day 10 days later, and I've never looked back since, since 2009, because I put all my energy, my heart, my soul into one focus in my business, because I knew that if I would do that, I could learn how to do everything else. If I could just learn how to produce and be a leader, that I could do everything else. But remember, I didn't have a backup plan. I didn't have any sort of other job. I didn't have any other kind of income. I did not have the ability to go back on what I said I would do. I had had enough of that in my life. I had enough of eating rice and beans for every meal. I had had enough of being homeless. I had had enough of being broken. I had had enough of looking at myself in the mirror and saying, David, you could do better. I had had enough of it. And so I, 
I raised up and I reached down inside to the depths of my soul and I walked onto the day of wood that I knew that was there. And that's the day of wood that follows through on his commitment. That's the day of wood that has a dream that's going to do it no matter what. That's the person inside that you have to who can accomplish things that exceed your wildest expectations because you cannot even imagine what's possible for you to do and here's why I know that. Because when I got started in this industry, it took me six months to get my first person involved. That was back in 2002 in an old school company doing hotel meetings and home meetings and showing the plan in coffee shops. And I talked to people all night, every day, for six months straight before I got one person involved in my business. Okay? Today, if I don't pick up the phone and I don't call anybody and I don't manage my ad campaigns and I don't manage any of my employees and I take a day off and I go to the beach, I'll recruit somewhere between two and ten people before I do anything. So that means that I do now automatically without any work or effort what used to take me 12 months of work when I first got involved in my business. What that teaches me is to me is that anything's possible. Is that anything's possible? Is that anything's possible? Is that anything's possible?